Hi, and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and today I'm going to start a new project. I'm actually going to start making codingwithjesse.com. Uh, so I'm going to use this as a sort of a platform for uh, making more videos and showing different technologies, libraries, that sort of thing. And uh, I'm actually going to make codingwithjesse.com. So it'll be a place to, uh, I assume, feature these videos, maybe have a forum or something, uh, maybe a blog, and uh, I don't know, I just thought it'd be interesting to sort of build a website top to bottom, uh, server side and client side, and actually have a functioning production live website and kind of show you how I would go about doing that. So uh, in this video I'm just going to create a new project for this uh, for this project, a new repository. So I'll call it codingwithjesse.com and uh, I'll leave all this kind of default for now and uh, initialize with a readme and uh, I'll just skip all this. Uh, I'll give it the MIT license so anyone can uh, use it. I'll create the repository and then I'm just going to set up the folder structure as well. So I'm going to copy the uh, GitHub SSH URL. I'm going to switch over to my folder here and I'm going to get clone that URL, which I'll just paste in. And you can do the same. And then I'll open that up with Sublime. So that's coding with jesse.com. So I have it open here. And so my folder structure, I'm going to have a folder for source. So that'll be my source code. I'll have a folder for build. So that'll be uh, sort of the minified version. Build will be the production website that I'll actually deploy. And I'm going to have a folder test, which is where my tests will be uh, for testing code inside source. And I think that's pretty much it. So inside source, I'm going to have JS or JavaScript. I'm going to have probably CSS folder. And I'll probably have uh, images and that kind of thing. I'll just call that uh, assets. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to just create an index.html file, which I'll save inside source. And I'm just going to uh, create a simple HTML file, doc type HTML. And I'll just put a head meta car set equals UTF 8 to say that the character set I want to use in my HTML file is uh, UTF-8. I'll put a title. I'll just call it Coding with Jesse. And close the head. Close it. Make a body. And it'll just be really basic right now. I'll just say Coding with Jesse. Coming soon. No JavaScript yet. No CSS yet. And I'll just switch back to my browser, open that up. Uh, so that's coding with jesse.com here. It's inside my source, and there it is. Really basic, it's just a starting point. So uh, in the next videos, I'm going to obviously use JavaScript. I'm going to start up a Node.js server. I'm uh, going to uh, use Babel. So I'm going to use ECMAScript uh, 2015, ES 2015 or ES 6. I'm going to probably use React. I'll probably use React Router. Uh, what else? A uh, whole bunch of stuff. So I'll be experimenting. I'll be trying out things for the first time. For example, I've never done a Node.js web server really before, not for production. Uh, so yeah, it should be interesting. I want to make the site offline first. So that'll be something new for me as well. And, uh, yeah, it should be interesting. All right, well, thanks for watching.